day four back in the field. It's been a rough start. I finally got one. I think this is a whole piece and not only a quarter and a half and all those fragments I'm finding. I think this one is whole. It's not very straight but it was a 71 signal. I had a good feeling. And it's a short cross. It's bent. It's an awful condition. It's a horrible coin. It's a shit coin. But I can't even make out the portrait. It's bad silver as well. But that ties alright. So I got one half. Sorry, I've got three halves of one of which I've lost and one whole one. Yeah, Bagged mint and settle strikes again. This is not the coin I bought yesterday. This is a George and he found it on this field. George the third. Big silver. <laughs> cool. Well, Thor has got a... Yeah, yeah, it's one of the more common varieties. Well done. Thank you. 790C, that's not the year, is it? Where's the years? No, 695 to 740. Okay. 695 to 740. AD. Cool. Yeah. All so, done. what about the quality? Is it fine or very fine to be a skeet? Fine? It's about fine. Yeah. It's so cold. But I think I've got one. I think i got one. I think I can see the silver. This is the coldest. This is, this is insanity. This is insanity. This is insanity. Who does this? for a holiday. Freezing on a field in Britain, picking up trash. Okay, it's a long cross. It's a long cross. And it's red. But it's a long cross. So, it's, it's kind of, I like it. It's, it's straight. I'm not sure if that's an Edward, really. I'll clean it in water, although I am freezing my butt off. No, I don't have any water. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Day five. And that's my fans and it's crap. And this is nice, it's Celtic. It's some kind of mound. And it's been enameled. And um, one of the Americans found it. But it hasn't been very productive so far. Apart from this, we've decided to change field. It was Thor that found the Celtic. Thor the Viking, not the Americans. Okay, let's hope this is better. Where is Ben Lapala? Where is Ben Lapala? Bye, Stephen. This year, no, this one, man. We're in the fifth or sixth field of the day and it's a disastrous day. More and more people are giving up. We have like one bronze Roman, two, three hammers, and uh, that Celtic piece. It's been a very, very bad tour. I think we have like a quarter of the finds that we normally do uh, in total as a group. And it's windy and it's cold and the fields are simply not producing. So I'm going back to the hotel and I'm going to clean my shit and I really don't know if I'm going out again tomorrow. I might have a day in town. I'll show you a bronze axe that I 
Bronze Age axe that I dug up yesterday and a cool medallion that I bought downtown and that's it. Uh, this has been the most disastrous UK trip we've ever done. It's completely hilariously bad. What can you say? This is metal detecting for you. At its worst. Back in my room, I'm just sick and tired of it all. It's, all my clothes are dirty and it's cold. And but The room is actually quite nice. Uh, but I'm rounding it up. I'm gonna spend the day tomorrow in Norwich and have a go shopping or whatever. It's been a lousy tour for me at least and many of the others are not very happy either. Um, so this is the Edward the First or Edward the Third long cross from yesterday. There's the portrait. And this is a cool medallion that I bought in the sh in downtown. It says Inseparable Friends to Elba. So it's Napoleon riding on a donkey with the devil handling, having him in, in a, on a leech. Um, it's, it's probably issued to commemorate or celebrate that Napoleon had lost, that the Allies had finally beaten him. Because it says, we conquer to set free the Emperor, the, em the Empire of Russia, uh, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Marquis of Wellington and Prince Schwarzenberg. I'm not, I don't know the other one. But they didn't know that he would return, right? So, so um, it's made of brass, and uh, I think it's it's cool. I bought it for twelve pounds. This is a Roman from uh, yesterday. It's uh, toasted, and uh, this one showed up late, late yesterday. Apparently, Bronze Age axe, Celt, small. I'll keep that one. That's a nice relic, and my button from the alternative political movement, the coin that I bought, I think it's really nice for £25. Obviously, I even picked one up from 1818 yesterday, a George the Third or Fourth, I don't know. Uh, this is a Victorian, but it's nice. Well, very toasted short cross John nor Henry. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to straighten that out. Two halves and another half which I've lost. I don't know where it is. So and this has been a disastrous tour, but you can't win them all. The fields have been some have been good, but too many of them have been bad. So, that's not fields that I would have walked in Norway. I mean, I need some kind of indication that there's been some activity there. I just don't walk out in the random field. It has to be some feature there, a building or a church. or something. It has to be a reason to go there. But you never know. You can get lucky, you can get unlucky, whatever. But I feel that we should have, we should have researched those fields a little bit better. But that's okay. Um, thanks for watching uh, maybe there will be more movies in 2016 maybe not, who knows I'm a little bit tired of metal detecting to be honest maybe I'll do something else, start a cooking channel or whatever I wish you uh, better luck than we've had and um, thanks for watching